dreary summer day in the vastness of the desert, we come across the story of Durana the Traveler. She's looking for an oasis amidst this endless canvas of sand. She has traveled miles to find the greatest treasure of the desert. The entire life of the desert, however small it is, is dependent on this magical treasure. But this treasure is disappearing. Without it, there can be no plants. Without plants, no food. And without food, there can be no animals. In fact, this treasure dwells in all humans, making about 70% of them. Without it, we cannot survive. The important treasure that Durana has finally found is what makes an oasis possible in such dry lands. This treasure is called water. Wow, I didn't know water was that important. Yes, water is one of the most important resources. Without water, plants and animals cannot survive. Not just plants and animals. Even you and I need water for our daily activities. Like, let me show you like this and that and this and that and this and even that. You know, I've always wondered about what happens below the surface of water. It's, it's like a different world. But how about you and I do it without getting wet today? How about we do it in style? Let's go in a submarine. Let's go! Oh look, a dolphin and fishes, so many of them. Yes, the ocean is home to so many beautiful creatures. In fact, a lot of these creatures don't even come out to land. They always live in the water. Hey, what's that? That is a jellyfish. They look so icky. Well, icky they may be, but do you know that jellyfish goo is used for medical research? It's actually powering up the electrical devices of the future. And jellyfishes are very, very interesting creatures. You should get to know them better. The sea is actually full of surprises and it's home to so many types of creatures like planktons and fishes and corals. The list is endless. The most surprising thing is that we are yet to explore the world of the ocean. We have seen just one tenth of the life forms that are there today. In fact, we don't even know most of the life forms that exist in the ocean. Of the living part of the earth is beneath the oceans and is yet to be explored. Scientists estimate that around 8 million species exist on earth and only 15% of them have been discovered. Millions of life forms are yet to be discovered in the oceans. What? Really? Fishes, jellyfishes, corals, what more could be there? A lot, lot, lot more. There are so many hidden treasures in the ocean. As time may come, we human beings may explore a lot, lot, lot more of these treasures. Look how bright the moon is tonight. Do you think there is life on the moon? The moon is beautiful, but it's very plain and dusty. So no, there is no life on the moon. Forget about the moon. There is no life on other planets as well because they do not have the variety and colors that Earth has. Do you know why there is no life on planets other than the Earth? Because there is no water. For a long, long time, we human beings have been trying to find out if there are other planets out there which can support life on it. And every time when we've tried to search if we are alone in this universe, we've started by looking out if water was there on the other planets. Because water is essential for life to be present on any planet, any surface, anywhere. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.